Hi guys, I'm here in Glasnevin Cemetery, Dublin. The cemetery was opened in 1832 and has 1.5 million internments. Let's have a look around this beautiful cemetery. And on this one here guys, it says erected by Margaret Lady Nelson in memory of her beloved husband, Sir William Nelson, who died in London the 7th of July 1922. So that's a beautiful looking monument with the family crests on it there as well. Celtic cross. I see a lot of these in Ireland. Beautiful knots and designs on it there. Really, really nice. And we'll make our way down around here and have a look. And this is another beautiful monument here. It says, Have mercy, O Lord, on the soul of Thomas Lestrance Nelson, born in January 1902 and died in 1949. And there's beautiful inscriptions and beautiful carvings on this of angels. All around you can see angels on the other side. Then it says, Thomas C. Nelson died December 1917 and erected by his wife and children. And it's beautiful there. And in the background, guys, you can kind of see that's uh, the tower, O'Connell's, Daniel O'Connell's tower and his final resting place. And here it says, in love and memory of Oswaldina Ryan, 1903 to 1972, daughter of Thomas Cormac and Margaret Nelson, And this is a mausoleum here. And it's really, really nice. It's like a miniature church to look at. Iron railing around it. And those two big doors. And uh, a lot of detail on this one as well. Look at those two big black doors, the size of those. And there's a big padlock on it there, guys, so it's closed up. So unfortunately, I couldn't see in here. And the pillar is broken on that, the marble on it. You can see the words broke there. But a really, really nice mausoleum. With great detail on that. Beautiful mausoleum. Lovely designs. So we'll make our way guys over to this part of the cemetery over here and see some more fine monuments in this cemetery, the largest cemetery in Ireland, Glasnevin. And on this beautiful one here, it says in love and memory of Josephine Mary Agnes, beloved daughter of James and Winnie Josephine Rooney, who departed this life in August 1896. And some more fine detail on this monument. And just this one next door here. It's a bit faded out. It says, in love and memory of John Lennon. Who departed this life. 1881. Also his beloved wife, Margaret, died in 1929. So the weather has probably got the better of that one, guys. But it's a really, really marvellous looking um, monument with the star on top of her head. And she's pointing towards heaven there as well. And look at the wings on this one as well. Just beautiful detail in it. So we'll go down a bit further again. There's lots of monuments in this cemetery. It's really, really beautiful. And I'm really glad I came here. And down in this section down here, we have the final resting place of William Dargan, died the 7th of February 1867, aged 68 years old. And as you can see here on this one, guys, it says Fleming, but it's very faded. So... 
this one here we're coming up to now there's a lovely railing or iron railing around this and a plaque almost looks like a shield and on the top it says liberty in the year 1898 on the 31st anniversary Alan Larkin and O'Brien who died for Ireland 23rd of November 1867 the district of Phippsborough and that's Dublin and there's the Irish tricolours there and just underneath it then I'm going to have a look underneath here and see what this monument reads here and just down underneath it says in honour and memory of Colonel Thomas Kelly and Captain Timothy D.C. Glory, O oh glory, O oh to the bold Fenian men. And that was dedicated in 1992. In memory of these guys who fought bravely for their country. And this one here, guys, says 1915. And down the bottom says National Graves Association. Dermot O'Donovan Rasa O'Donovan Rasa 1831-1915 Founder of the Phoenix National Liberty Society and Fenian That's a lovely plaque there and you can see his name here guys O'Donovan Rasa Not far from O'Donovan Ross's final resting place, over here we have a large monument here and this is erected to the memory of all the people who died with hunger strike through the troubles in Ireland and it says it is not those who can inflict the most but those who can suffer the most who will convert and these here 1917 Thomas Ash 1920 Michael Fitzgerald Joseph Murphy Terence McSweeney 1923 Joseph Whitty Dennis Barry Andy Sullivan and down along guys you see all the names here and these are all people were remembered 1981 Bobby Sands all these people who were on hunger strike to make I suppose you know a speech to the nation and to the world to let people know how much they believed in what they believed in was right for their country and independence and freedom for their people so very, very brave men. And here we have the final resting place of Roger Casement, 1864 to 1916. Just beside Sir Roger Casement here is the final resting place of Kevin Barry, I'm sure you've heard lots of Irish songs, rebel songs about Kevin Barry who died for his country. Kevin was executed by the British forces in 1920, aged only 18 years old.
So I just noticed this one here, guys, as well. It's beautiful. Pray for the soul of Ellen, wife of Christopher Palace, Lord Chief Baron, died 22nd of June, 1885. And uh, this monument just caught my eye. It's very, very nice. Pray for the soul of Elizabeth Palace, niece of Christopher Palace, died in 1925. And this one, guys, is... A statue here of a woman with her hands together like she's praying she looks absolutely beautiful against the skyline and the clouds and almost looks like she's floating just notice the folds in her dress are lovely and it looks like her feet are elevating from the monument and there's another memorial here of an urn and a drape over this one beside it. So that's the end of part one, guys, in Glasnevin in Dublin. And I will be putting up a part two. So thanks for watching. God bless and take care.